Because a lot of people have no idea the time and effort goes into making these carpets. Okay? Some of these carpets take one, two, three, four, five years to make. Can anyone do that? What's the lifespan of a handmade carpet? Five to six generations. You're only going to buy this once. All right? So, there are a lot of steps of making these carpets, and the steps are these. Dyeing the process of the wool and the silk, and collecting the silk, and the most important thing is weaving the carpet. That's what makes the price of handmade carpets around the world. Put that in your head, the number of knots, okay? That's okay. <laughs> Turkey is the third largest producer of silk in the world. Number one is China, a producing silk. Number two is Thailand, or number three, how do we get the silk? The silk wool company can get it from the silk wool. So it all begins, the farmers do all this for us. It all begins the first week of May, the butterflies mate, the female hatches the egg, which are the silk worms. The silkworms are collected by farmers. What they do is, after hatching, the silkworms like to eat the mulberry leaf. They like eat the mulberry leaf. They eat it for two and a half months, to three months. After around the second month, they start spinning out the silk with their mouth. They start spinning on a branch to form this little cocoon, which is this. Everybody see that? This takes about two and a half weeks to make. But around the second week, the farmer grabs it from the little racks. They put them in a box. They zap this aside with hot water. He's going to grab this, this handsome guy over here. We're gonna <laughs> He's going to grab 15 to 20 eggs, 15 to 20 little strands to make one little thread of silk. Get with those. Look, this is pure silk. Silk is used by NASA to make astronaut suits, parachutes, medical profession. At this process, silk is delicate and snap. When the silk becomes one thread, you can cut marbles. That's how strong silk is. And how we did it? Machines do it, huh? but we like to show it wasn't the old days, okay? See, these are the things you never get to see in the background what goes making these carpets, okay? He's going to put them in the rollers over here. He's going to use a little feet to paddle over here. Watch yourself, sir. He's going to start unraveling the silk from all those eggs. This hot water. There you go. See them getting on box? See them getting on box? Everyone see that? If there's an interest, we love to do business. Nobody comes here to buy a carpet, but we want you to appreciate this article. Okay, this is very, very important, all right? Now, I said to you, what makes the price of a handmade carpet is the number of? No, well, keep that in your mind if you don't want to purchase the carpet today or later on in your country, okay? And this is what this is what makes Turkish carpet so unique. This is a blown up version of a knot, okay? Everybody see this board? Everybody see it? You guys gonna move around a little bit. <laughs> The work will be marked, which is the line at the bottom. But anybody ask you, I know you won't know, but these are all technical, so you won't get this. I'm not going to remember all this. What makes handmade Turkish carpet eggs more costly than the other one? Because of the knots. So you can check this in your Google. Right? Turkish carpet all double knots. See those two loops around those two knots? That's a Turkish double knot. It's called the Gordian Nadi technique, on the Greek word Gordian. Roughly about 10 months of labor. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm not joking. Three hours a day. It's hard on the eyes, back, fingers. They cannot physically work more. Right. She's going to show you what a turkey double knot looks like. You have a little knee bubble. She grabs the two double knots, like the two warped. She goes once around it, comes around the other. This is pure silk. The warp is silk, the warp is silk, and the pile of silk. Brings it down, you do it, right? That's all they do. One, they do this one knot at a time. That's why they last forever. That's why they take forever. And look, the biggest question is asked, look how many colors she's looking for. Oh, how the goodness. heck does she know what to yeah. put yeah. what yeah. where? Yeah. What are the most difficult things? Is we have the national drink from Turkey. Everybody see this? Anybody yeah. heard of this thing? Yeah. Yes. The Greeks call it uzo, the Turks call it rack. It's made of anisette. It's black liquid. If you drink this thing, I swear to God, you'll buy a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> This is from this region of Lila. Look, going back to the pattern, this region of Lila will never make that. Understand? This is how we know where they're made from. They all have their own little traditional pattern. So this feeling of the wool on wool. Do you understand what I mean by wool on wool? The warp is wool. The waft is wool and the pile, which the natural does is wool. All right? Why? To get that geometric look. Four by six, five by seven, six by nine, eight by ten, nine by twelve, ten by fourteen. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. That's pure silk. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's lotus in the middle. Oh, my God.
That's a gorgeous piece. It is a gorgeous piece. But that's what you get when you buy something. You can have too many people own stuff like this. Two sided. No, no, no. There's a lot of time and effort going to making these garments, so. But it's an art. That's what this is.